Hey everyone, this is Aurelius from Undead Point Cloud Software and today I have exciting news for you guys. We have released the second version of our Point Cloud extension for SketchUp. The second version supports new SketchUp 2017, which in fact was the biggest challenge for our development team. Since the new SketchUp made some major improvements to their graphics pipeline, we also had to rebuild Undead application from its foundation. Along with the support of SketchUp 2017, we improved snapping to point cloud points, implemented coordinate system transformation, and introduced a whole new automated feature extraction functionality that allows to detect and automatically extract planes, corner lines, and surface meshes. Let's have a more detailed overview of the new functionality. No 3D software likes to deal with large coordinate numbers. SketchUp is no exception. If your point cloud original coordinates are too large, and that will offer to shift them to start axis upon opening the project. We recommend to accept the suggestion. And don't worry, original coordinates are saved and you can switch back to them anytime within the coordinate system dialog. Within the dialog, we can also modify these values manually. or define shift and rotation in the view. Let's say in this particular UAV data case, I would like to move planner situation to the start axis, but maintain the original heights. Let's move to the automated feature extraction functionality. Within Undead References toolbar, you'll find two new icons, Feature Extraction and Corner Line. Feature Extraction opens up a new dialog that allows to modify detection settings and find and extract planes. Once the plane is found, you can modify it further and rescale, rotate, push and pull its face, or convert it to surface mesh. Let's give it a try. I'm going to clip this chapel and leave only one side of it. Let's turn on Feature Extraction dialog and pick a point on the point cloud surface. As we can see, Undead detected and extracted the splint perfectly. Let's modify its size to meet our needs. Let's give it another try and detect this lower plane. Great guess again. Let's find one more plane on the other side. But this time, I'll play with recognition parameters and increase the step size from the default 4 cm to 34. As we can see, a bigger plane was detected, and if we would increase the step value further, algorithm would eventually neglect this opening. Check this box if you want to keep your plane vertical, and reset values if you want to use the default parameters. Let's find a plane on the roof. A quick tip. Sometimes you may find difficult scaling the extracted face. Then just call the right mouse button menu and align your axis. Let's refer to a stair step. We can see that the extracted horizontal face is not aligned very well. I will use scale and rotate tools to put it in the right place. The face is in correct place now. Let's push and pull it. It 
it is really fun to play with phase detection, but it's also a great assistance that improves 3D workflows and makes you more productive. A corner line detection is basically a plane recognition derivative. In the backstage, the corner line is just an intersection of the two faces. So we need to pick up one face, the second one, and the corner line is detected. And if we'll continue picking adjacent faces, further corner lines will be detected. Let's move to the last, but definitely not least, part of this video. A very impressive surface meshing. I'll clip some territory around this chapel. And our goal is to extract brown surface of this territory. The best part is that the chapel and the surrounding vegetation will be neglected by Undead's algorithm. And the final result should be an accurate ground surface without any spikes. Let's call feature extraction dialog and try to detect a reasonable plane on the ground. The plane was found that can be further resized, but resizing is not necessary. Unless you want to mesh only that specific area, then you can rescale the face to meet your needs. If you want to search for the ground in the entire clipping box, then choose Convert to Mesh straight away. Be patient, mesh calculation will take some time. When it's done, you'll see the amount of calculated faces that you can further reduce using Mesh Simplification Slider. I'll leave only half of the faces. Let's check what have we got here. And it looks like and that calculated Mesh only for this pathway. and didn't extract the rest of the ground. And that's due to low curvature tolerance in the recognition parameters. Let's give it the second shot, but this time, let's increase curvature tolerance to half of its maximum value. and convert to mesh straight away. And it looks like it should be fine now, since we have hundreds of thousands of faces. And I believe only a small portion, approximately 30,000. Let's hide the point cloud and check the mesh. This time the ground surface was extracted for the entire clipping box. And that's due to increased curvature tolerance. So do not hesitate to play with these recognition settings. You will need to find your best fit depending on your point cloud structure and density. Just one more and the last tip. You can explode your mesh and delete unwanted vertexes like the long edges over here. That's it for today guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, like and share if you did, leave your thoughts and comments below and visit our website at www.undead.com to download a free trial version of the new software. Stay tuned, contact me on LinkedIn and follow Undead on Twitter, find links in the description below.